Check it out. Tonight we are going to make some ramen noodles and chicken. I'm just making things up as I go. So we have these rice ramen noodles that are gonna be super good. I'm gonna break up two of these little guys right here. One and two, hang tight. And then these are just, these are chicken breasts, but they're already, they're already cooked. So these bad boys are gonna go straight into, whoa, that looks good, that microwave right there. Right there. And I'm gonna use two of these. So I'll just throw them on a plate. One and two. These are great since I can just microwave those. Uh, I'm actually gonna microwave them now. Some people would be like, you know what, don't microwave them yet because you want them to be um, like hot with the rest of the food, but I don't really like things that hot, so I am not gonna do that. So for two fillets, it says do three and a half to four minutes. We'll just do four, why not? There, there's that. And now, perfect, add a shot, same with that. I am going to, actually you know what I'm gonna do first? Put some coconut oil on this, on this pan right here. We got, so we got new pans. The old ones um, were like warped, so you would cook and it would, it would just cook like, like you know, it'd cook on one point or like a point here or here or something. So it wasn't even and it was starting to scratch up our, my brand new, uh, brand new cooktop right there. You can kind of see it. It's not terrible, but I mean, I just, I just bought this house like, I don't know, three months ago at this point. I didn't want my stuff getting all destroyed. So yeah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to cook just these three eggs. I'm just gonna scramble them up and I'll, I'll uh, cut them up. Here, I'll bring the camera over this way. This is fun for me. What's cool is like, I'm not a dude who, uh, you know, actually really cooks or anything. Like I used to cook a lot uh, before I met Betty, uh, you know, back in my single days or whatever. You can see the whole kitchen too, it's kind of neat. And I used to cook a lot of salmon, uh, a lot of just really healthy dishes, a lot of salmon, a lot of veggies, um, not so much chicken. Never, never really been a fan of chicken. I'll eat it, but if it's like chicken or beef, uh, then it's not gonna be chicken. It's gonna be beef and salmon. That salmon from Costco is really good. If you guys like salmon, that's a good way to go. Ooh, that was a good one. Rinse, rinse the old hand bones. And I'll just scramble these things up and uh, put them on the stove. There we go. Kick that on, use the dual burner since I have uh, like a larger pan. Let me, get a, let me get a better angle right here. And you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna drop it down. This thing's cool. This tripod adjusts all nicely. There's that. So I'll be cooking, there we go. I'll be cooking eggs, obviously right there, scrambling eggs right there. And in this one, I need to break up these noodles right here. So I've never made these noodles. Um, I'm gonna put them in there and then just smash them up. Ooh, that, that worked a little too well. Hold on, let me, let me uh, seal that bag up. Perfect. All right, so in here, I'm gonna fill this with water. Uh, about halfway. So, just using regular tap water, obviously, because it's just water. Don't need anything real fancy. Okay, we're good on that. Coming back around. Boom, boom. Dump these guys in here. I gotta stir the eggs up in a split second. There's that. Coolness. There's that. I'm trying to keep all this other stuff off camera, but realistically I have like chicken over there, uh, random bag, coconut oil. I can go put it back in there, but I don't really feel like dragging the camera around. So I am not doing that. 
And then I'm gonna back down the temperature on these eggs, grab whatever I have, hopefully I have a spatula. I had this issue with the uh, last episode or last video. I was like, oh, you know what I forgot to grab was a spatula. First one I found, it's the one I'm going with. All right, here we go. I'm getting in there. Chicken is done. Don't care about that as much. Look how large, this spatula is so large. Jeez. But whatever, it's the first one I had, first one I grabbed. Coolness, stirring these up. And then I will kick this guy on right here. There we go. Uh, a lot of times I put like butter in it, but I'm not going to right now because I don't know, I'm just not going to. Pull the chicken out. It's hot. Here's our, here's our chicken. I'll cut that up. Move this off camera. There, more clutter. More clutter over that way and less clutter over here. So, got this going. Gonna put the lid on. So these noodles say, uh, I think they said like three minutes. So add ramen cakes to boiling water. Well, it was cake and I smashed it. After one minute, start separating noodles gently with a fork and reduce heat to a low boil. Uh, you know, I'm on like medium right now, so I'm doing my own thing. Cook for three minutes or until noodles are just soft. Then strain and rinse with cold water to avoid sticking. We're just doing it however we're doing it. However we're going to do it is how we're going to do it. So it's 7.56 right now. Uh, we'll go to like 8.01 or something. Finish up these eggs. This is going to be good. I'm a big fan of eggs. Not a fan of chicken, but I'm a fan of its offspring. I like the eggs much better. Next time I'll have to prepare and get like a, um, actually have a spatula on hand. Cause right now I'm just, I start, I put like, I press record and I get excited and I'm like, oh yeah, I need a spatula. But at the same time, it's almost eight o'clock at night. Uh, I'm hungry. Betty's upstairs playing with O'Bannon. So she's hungry. The family's hungry. So, you know. Kind of is what it is. Boop, boop. And then I'll throw this egg onto here, chop it all up. And then when those are done, basically I'll combine it all. And then I'm gonna use this pink Himalayan sea salt for some flavor. Must have garlic. I'm a huge fan of garlic, so I'm going with garlic powder. I also like onions. So onion powder right there. And then my favorite ingredient of all, black pepper. I can pepper. I, I could add pepper to like basically anything. I don't. I actually had to explain that to my son. He was asking. Um, I made him French toast today, and he's asking why I didn't add something like that. Like why didn't I? Why didn't I add garlic powder uh, to the French toast? And I'm like, well, uh, I mean, I guess you could but uh, wouldn't taste the best, so. I like his questions, though. He always asks the coolest questions. There we go. Just cut these up a little bit. It's already turned the burner off. There we go. Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. This is like my Ginsu. I need like uh, cool camera angles like all the professional chefs have, but. I don't, like I said, I'm using my phone for this, for this episode. The only reason I'm using the phone, the quality is obviously not as good as uh, my camera, but I don't have a whole lot of time to sit there and edit videos. So uh, with this, I can pause it and then it'll basically edit itself. It's kind of cool. It's like if I need to cut scenes. In fact, let me show you guys. So. Say I want to come over here. Keep in mind, I have like an 18-foot uh, microphone on me. And uh, I should use a wire. I do have a whole wireless mic setup, but I'm not using it. So anyway, say I want to like come over here. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll cut the shot like this. And like three seconds later, I'm right here. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know these phones could do this. This is a Samsung S10. It's pretty neat. 
Anyway, so the eggs are gonna cool down obviously a bit. I'm gonna cut that chicken up with one of those knives right there. That was a gift for Betty that I bought uh, for Christmas actually. Let's see if I can get a good angle. This is all an experiment. I'm having fun doing this stuff. I'm really enjoying, uh, even though it's not cooking and you know, like uh, like a chef or something you would see on, I don't know, Guy Fieri or something. But look at that. That was cool. I zoomed in. I feel like a professional cinematographer here. See if this captures my MTV shorts. No, could. Can't see them. I'm wearing some really comfy MTV shorts that I bought at Target uh, like a month ago. Now I'm choosing. Let me see what knife I want to use here. We have a decent selection of knives. The old cutlery. Ah. Uh, hmm. All right, well, that one's smaller. Grab myself a fork. And I'll just, yeah, whatever. That works. The other ones are like um, bread knives and like this thing, which you're not cutting it. I mean, you could, but I'm not going to use that to cut the chicken. So this is the knife I'm using. Not the best choice. But I'm not, you know, I'm not a chef or anything, so I'm just enjoying it. It's cool to make food uh, for the family since Betty, like, always cooks. Usually if I'm cooking, it's something that's not healthy for you. It's like, oh, yeah, I'm making uh, waffles or refrying a donut or, so, like, some random thing that, uh, you know, is probably not the best for you. And Betty eats pretty healthy. We both, ooh, that was a loud one. Thank God the dog's not in here. He would have been like, that would have hurt his ears. Betty and I are both big into fitness. Um, and I was doing like fitness videos mostly before this. But the thing is, it's story time because I have nothing else to do but cut these things. My noodles could probably use another minute. Uh, what I was saying though is like I've been lifting weights since 1997. So I started lifting weights as a freshman in high school. Kind of a way to keep bullies away. I was a small person. No surprise. I'm not very tall. I'm like five foot five. Uh, I, I weigh like 149 pounds. So I was I was uh, kind of picked on when I was younger. So it was a way to sort of fend off the big boys. Ended up getting really strong and all that. Um, let me check my noodles. But uh, like working out and stuff is cool and all. But it gets kind of boring. It's kind of the same thing every time. I got sick of making just fitness videos. So I was like, you know what? What do I do more than uh, fitness stuff? I eat. So, yeah, that's not doing That's not doing so well. Let me crank it up a bit. Um, back to my cutting. Busy over here cutting. Here, I'll, I'll leave it widescreen so you can check out my, my comfy MTV shorts. And hold on. I have... Uh, there we go. This is, there we go. All right. So I decided, you know, I eat a ton. Might as well make videos about food. I mean, I watch a lot of, uh, what is it? Like guys grocery games on Food Network. And uh, those chefs are pretty cool. They, they cook with uh, whatever like the topic of the day is or whatever like the category is. Like you gotta cook this. Using only these ingredients or some sort, there's always some sort of catch, but whatever. You guys like my terrible knife wielding skill, wielding skills? Uh, fun fact, actually, my first job, I was 14 years old. Worked, <laughs> I worked as a cook like one day a week because, you know, I'm four, I was 14. Um, like grilling hamburgers and uh, frying french fries and stuff like that at a little bar and grill. It's pretty cool in uh, Tucson, Arizona, where I'm from. So I'm almost done with these. And there's that, look at that, look at that, boom, get in there. It's the most exciting YouTube footage of all time right now. Cool, so while we're waiting for that, get a bowl right here, another one right here, and I will mix these up. Put them in there for Betty and I. Let's go with here. We'll do it this way. That knife. Go that way. Stay away, knife. 
There we go. Cool. And then once, once those um, noodles are done, oh, you can hear my son in the background. This is cool. Uh, once those noodles are done, I'll just add those into the mix and then stir it up. So it'd be super tasty. It's almost done. This is obviously for me. It's a larger, larger batch. And I'll use, use the rest of it. So Betty's getting a smaller batch. I'll, I'll add more to mine in a minute. Um, and since we're here waiting for noodles, throw in the pepper. More pepper. A uh, little bit of onion. A little tiny bit of onion. Heavy on the garlic. Because nothing wrong with garlic. And then a little bit of salt. I uh, don't add too much normally. There we go. There we go. Cool. Ooh, that was a heavy pour for Betty. That's all right. She loves me. She'll she'll understand. Mm, go check him. Let's check this out now. So we're going to walk a whole three feet over here. Let's get a little bit of zoomy, zoom, zoom. Whew, look at that. That's neat. Cool. Need to stir this. Let me see what I have to stir this thing. I should have. Hold on, I got a movie camera. Um, ah, yes, here we go. Here's the drawer. Here's the drawer that I haven't used before. All right, get get back on there. Get in there. There we go. Ooh, hot. Cool. They're nice and soft. It's actually been 10 minutes, but there we go. I normally like my noodles al dente, but because I'm making these for Betty, I'm being reasonable here and not having hard noodles. So let me go over here. And pop, actually, let me do this. Pop this thing up. Then I'm going to cut the shot, and then I'm going to drain the noodles. All right, time to drain these bad boys. Actually, I really didn't do much to the camera. I just kind of uh, adjusted it. Check out these MTV shorts. Straight target right there. So now I'm just draining all of the water. And then I'll just add the noodles right to that bowl that's over there behind me. And then I'll just mix it up and basically be done. So that will be tasty. There we go. So we're left with noodles. Looking like that. Get that steam coming off. Pivot. And zoom. Oh, a little much. All right, cool. There we go. And then take this. I know there's like way better ways to do all this, I'm sure. Uh, but I'm not doing that. So here we go. Ooh, you can hear my, my son in the background being a little, a little, uh, three-year-old. He wants some ice cream. Can't blame him though. Tastes good. I think he's having Mickey Mouse ice cream right now too. I am talking to YouTube. Look at that monkey in there. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. So I can do camera. Yeah, so I can do camera stuff. Because it's so good. Because. Because it's it uh it's a useful tool. Cheese. It is true. I can. I'm talking to you, and I'm talking to YouTube, the rest of the world. There we go. Because, because I love talking to the tripod. So here's what we end up with right here. Look at that. Ooh, noodles and chicken and eggs. So good. So good. All right, so I'm going to put, I have like a microphone cord all around me. I'm going to put, hold on, hang tight. There we go. There are better ways to do this. I'm not doing this. I'm putting... Cholula 
chili garlic on here because I like it. And it's good, obviously. But I saw Betty. I gave Betty hers just now. And she snuck in here and grabbed. Let's see, she grabbed. She grabbed this right here. Spicy chipotle squeeze garnishing sauce. Get in there right there. Wow. That's what she grabbed, so. We will see how it tastes. Actually, here, put it on the fork, let's see. All right, not bad. She's all right, I'll keep her around. And um, adjust that angle one more time. There we go. Ooh, it's a little spicy. Chipotle powder. All right, now. How does it taste? Time to figure that out. Let me mix it in. Let me see if I'm any good at cooking uh, instant Tyson chicken and Lotus Foods rice ramen noodles. All right, so I want to bite the heads. Hold on. I want chicken and egg and noodle all in one bite. Let's see. A little heavy on the noodles, but it's good. Yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I've never made it in my life. Mm. But it has like carbs and protein. Uh, probably would have been nice to have a veggie in here, but we don't have anything. So I'm working with what I have. And uh, I got to clean everything up. So a little bit of dishware. I gotta put that back in the fridge right there. It's going back in the, actually, freezer. So, clean all that up. Finish my food. Um, Betty enjoyed her food. Took like 20 ish minutes to cook that. So, that's not bad. I just needed to cook something real quick because she was hungry. I was hungry. So, that's how we ended up with chicken and egg rice ramen noodles. It's like a mouthful chicken and egg rice ramen noodles. Anyway, thanks for watching this, and uh, go watch more of my videos. Ooh, that's crooked. Yeah, go watch more of my videos. And I'm going to go back to eating now, so. <sighs> yeah. Maybe just one more bite for the road. I'm trying to make this screen kind of long so I can have other things pop up on the screen. Like here, and here, and like down there, and all that stuff. So. Now.